Hi guys, today I want to talk about celebrity fitness and what you want to be careful of when you're looking at these people because they, they're not really going to be good role models for you with your training. They're going to set you unrealistic targets because they've got um, a lot more resources in terms of time, people and finances to get to look in the shape that they do. I mean, the first thing is obviously they've got a more time, it's a profession for them, so part of their job is looking good, so they're going to be able to devote the time to do that. So you're talking about you know, training twice a day with a trainer, which is another thing they're going to be able to get access to. Um, Nutrition-wise, they're going to have nutritionists, they're going to have chefs, and they're going to be able to um, make sure they're scheduling the meals at the right times and eating the right stuff as well. I know obviously when they're shooting, they might be sort of on a schedule, but I'm sure, that especially if you're looking at the top celebrities, they're going to be able to fit in eating right in between shoots or in between takes as well. So that's the next thing. Second thing, uh, third thing is obviously don't believe a lot of the hype because you're gonna see uh, a lot of photoshopped images of celebrities. You're also gonna see uh, so-called impromptu shoots that they're actually stage shoots set up by um, the management of that um, celebrity. And therefore it will look like they're sort of just out on the beach, but obviously it's all been set up so they're gonna have the makeup, they're gonna have the lighting right, the angles right, everything is gonna be perfect. So they look their absolute best whenever you see them, which is why sometimes when you see the paparazzi shots of them looking uh, not so good, it can be quite a contrast between, you know, maybe five days earlier. So obviously take that into account as well. The other thing they're going to do is cosmetic surgery. That's, that's obviously uh, a big thing with celebrities. So when people are sort of having dramatic changes, then don't be surprised if there's some plastic surgery involved. And also, Especially amongst the guys that get ripped for the movies, you know, looking hench and, you know, vascularity, big muscle gain, um, fat loss, muscle gain, steroids. There's definitely performance enhancing drugs in the celebrity world. No one's going to drug test a celeb because no one really cares. But that is obviously a factor as well. And there is a huge amount of research into how much um, muscle you can gain on the steroids. Obviously, there's also large health risks um, by doing so so I'm definitely not endorsing doing steroids but that is one of the factors as well so when you see a celebrity that's absolutely sort of huge especially one that's got massive in a very short period of time for a movie role you can pretty much guarantee they're on some kind of um, performance in ice drugs could be testosterone or HGH anything like that um, to help them get that growth so that's the other thing also with a celebrity they've got a massive motivation to look good because um, the, the media and some of the public can be very cruel, so therefore they're being pressurised into looking good all the time. Not necessarily the best thing for them, but obviously it is a big motivator if you don't look good and basically everyone's going to absolutely slate you. That's going to be a motivation for you as well. It's not the ideal motivation, obviously, but that's going to um, that's going to kick you on in that case as well. So what does it mean for you? What it means for you is that that is not, you, that is not your goal. The celebrities are not your role model for getting fit. You need to look at your own uh, resources that you have available, time, money, people, and think about, okay, what can I achieve? What's realistic? Maybe talk to your trainer about what is realistic for you um, in terms of your body shape, your body image, and, and what you're gonna look like. And, um, and obviously don't just set your goals around aesthetic, um, appearances and stuff like that because that's definitely not the most important part about getting in shape and getting fit and healthy it's about sort of finding stuff that you love enjoying the journey enjoying the training uh, and getting healthy rather than uh, just purely aesthetic reasons so don't use celebrities as a guide because it's very unrealistic uh, set your own targets that are realistic for you and uh, just enjoy the training basically guys so um, i'll see you soon cheers